A very good evening to all our viewers joining across Sri Lanka and around the world. This is the week 5 clash between Candy Sports Club and Havelock Sports Club. The unbeaten, undisputed defending champions Candy coming in as favourites and Heavy Sports Club sitting on third place uh, in the points table. This is a big clash uh, and uh, this is a must win game for Heavies as well if they are to progress further than the third place they are right now. As you can see pictures uh, here at the Nithavala Sports Complex and I am joined by Kevin Dananjan, a very good uh, friend of uh, ours, uh, joining uh, also uh, a strong Hill Capital uh, lad. Good evening, Kevin. Well, good evening, Muad. We are, we are, we are we're going to have an excellent day in our hand because this is the much awaited clash between Havelock and uh, Candy SC. Every year when Havelock's face Candy SC, it's a party, especially when, it, uh, when the game is being played here at Nithavala. Of course, uh, Kevin, lots of, uh, you know, history, lots of uh, uh, stories going back in time with, between these uh, two teams. In fact, uh, I think you can remember in the previous seasons, especially uh, starting from uh, 2010, uh, it has been a clouds, uh, the sky is up here in Nithavala. This is your weather forecast for today. It's a pretty gloomy affair, even though it was earlier a sunny affair. Now it's a maximum temperature of 29 degrees Celsius, minimum temperature of 21. And the wind speed is 14 kilometers per hour, blowing from left to right of your screens. Rains and thunderstorms are also expected here at the Nithavala Fortress here in Kandy. It's a big game, a gloomy affair right now. It was sunny and then gloomy. A bit of a topsy-turvy situation with the weather here at Nithavala. But we are expecting some really, really dashing rugby skills by both the teams. Both strong teams coming in here as uh, uh, title contenders. These are some lovely pictures of the Hill Capital. Well, Candy uh, are currently in second position. They are uh, with four wins in a trot. Uh, but they have been tested a bit uh, in the previous games, Muad, especially considering uh, how they performed in the previous season, especially in those two uh, first half performances against Air Force and uh, uh, Army. Yeah, Candy, Candy was uh, really, really tested against police here at home, especially. Uh, police showed that Candy can be, you know, put under pressure. This time around, uh, many pandits say that this league is one of the most uh, close, uh, co closely contested leagues in the recent history because uh, teams have improved pretty well and Candy of course uh, are improving uh, within the season and giving a lot of uh, fresh uh, legs some chances. Absolutely and we, if you take a look at Havelock SC they just had that sole defeat against uh, CHNFC in a rain affected game. They did play very well but they couldn't get the results so they are also in a very good uh, string as of now just uh, losing one game and they have it uh, three games. So these are important games uh, for both these sides, especially for Candy, if they want to catch up with uh, CR and FC, who are the leaders at the at the moment. They will have to win the game and for Havelock SC to stay in title contention, they will have to win the game as well. So yes, uh, as I said before, this is a blockbuster encounter. Whenever Candy faces Heavies, it is a blockbuster encounter and today is no different. Of course, uh, the top try scorers, last Nukarnath, look at the former Sands College led Leading from the front, uh, five tries and equal with Lasanthu Kumar of uh, Army Sports Club, Prasad Mantusanka of CH Shak and uh, Hiranta Pereira as well as Ashan Bandara, all with four tries each. It's a very, very close affair here in the try scoring game. And also the top point scorers, Tenuka Nanakara is currently leading uh, the CR and FC player. And we can see Samuel Madhuanta from uh, Havelock. Uh, Featuring in this list along with Tarinda Ratwatta, Samuel with 33 points, uh, Tarinda with 28 uh, points, both being uh, very good, uh, prominent, reliable kickers uh, for their respective teams. Mohad. In fact, uh, Kevin, uh, two candy lads are playing for different clubs in the points table, former King Zudi and Hirushan Etmina and uh, Samuel Madhuanta. These are your scores uh, of uh, the week four. The previous week, uh, Sia had a very close call against CH. 28-23 Army pulled off their first win of the season against uh, Navy Sports Club. That is 29 points to 17. Police had a tough outing against Havis. Havis coming out victorious in a close game. 
and of course Candy ran circles around Air Force in a second half blitz at Ratmalana. An interesting uh, game that was in Ratmalana. Uh, so Candy, of course, uh, showing who the real kings are this season, coming back strong in the second half. We will go for a short commercial break. We will be back with the game action here at the Candy vs Havelock game in the Week 5 clash of the Nippon Paint Interclub Rugby League. Stay tuned. From harmful bacteria, Nippon Paint Medifresh, a powerful combination of silver and zinc ions. Nippon Paint, the coatings expert. Hot and spicy, fun by Bukati Merakaranta. We take a remake, Karanta, the winner. Hot and spicy, fun by Bukati Merakaranta. We take a remake, Karanta, the winner. Hot and spicy, fun by Bukati Merakaranta. We take a remake, Karanta, the winner. Hot and spicy, fun by Bukati Merakaranta. We take a remake, Karanta, the winner. Hot and spicy, fun by Bukati Introducing NeosPay, a fun way to make payments from your Neos app. For the fun of paying, hashtag NeosPaid. Cricket is here. KFC Big Bash League 2023. Eight contenders, one champion. Nippon Paint Rugby League. First December onwards, live on the Papare TV, Dialogue TV channel 126, Dialogue View app and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. <laughs> Introducing NeosPay, a fun way to make payments from your Neos app. For the fun of paying, hashtag NeosPay. Introducing NeosPay, a fun way to make payments from your Neos app. For the fun of paying, hashtag NeosPaid. Club Rugby is back on the Papare. Eight contenders, one champion. Nippon Paint Rugby League. 1st December onwards, live on the Papare TV, Dialogue TV channel 126, Dialogue View app and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Prima Kutumi, Pantamai! Six big bombs. Myers in a go. Richards it knocks him over. You win the big beat. <laughs> Celebration. He is fired up. Big beat stand. Magnificent catch. You win the big beat stand. And take it. Big beat stand. Heroic. He gets all of it. The biggest bash of T20 cricket is here. KFC Big Bash League 2023. <laughs> Have you heard about...
Z. 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 We K Y C. Easy. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. N D B Z. N D B Z from N D B Bank. The future is banking on us. The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved, Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. Club Rugby is back on the Pabere. Eight contenders, one champion. Nippon Paint Rugby League, 1st December onwards. Live on the Pabere TV, Dialogue TV Channel 126. Dialogue Viewer. Welcome back. You have joined with the Papare TV or with the blockbuster up here from Nittavala Candy Sports Club uh, taking on Havelock Sports Club. And uh, along with me, I have uh, Muad Muad. We talked before how Candy have not been uh, at their base, but still they have managed to get the four wins in a row. Of course, uh, Kevin, and also they have secured all the four bonus points as well, scoring four tries. Uh, in all their games. Uh, this is the Havelock team card. The forwards, uh, Shahan Silva, skipper Azmir Fajuddin, Abdullah Faiz, Ganudavira Singer, Shan Dias, Shanal Silva, Udara Lakshan, Janidu Fernando, and the backs, Rifan Mohammed, Sandesh Jayavikrama, Randhita Varnapura, Mushin Falil, Sudesh Jayavikrama, the youngsters right after school from St. Peter's, Dinupa Sinivaratna, also. Uh, last year's DS skipper and Samuel Madhuanta, the Hill Country boy, playing for the Havelock Sports Club replacements. Uh, we have Arthur Korla, Delisle, Fernando Pereira, another Pereira, and Dodangoda, Chandimal, and another Chandimal. So, uh, two uh, Chanak Chandimal, and so it's a mix of uh, combinations of junior and senior combinations for heavies. And here's Candy Kevin. Well, Candy will be starting with their forwards, Malita Vijay Sundar, Udhya Jayasuriya, Sadhu Kato Kaurala, another youngster just as uh, Sudesh, just after school, Tilina Bandara, Chatura Soisa, Chaturanga Kudalige, Jason Disanayaka, Dahan Vikramarachi, Heshan Jansen, Nigel Ratwata, Dinal Ekanayaka, Tharinda Ratwata, Lavanga Pereira, Danushka Ranjan, Srinath Surya Bandara, a heavy star pack team. This Candy lineup is, and the replacements are Muhammad Bandara, Wajid, Senviratna Dyes. Abe Vikramatena Kun Pereira, both teams, Havis and Candy, looking pretty strong. But uh, as you said before, it's a battle between two Candy boys, Samuel Madhuanta from Havis and uh, Tarinda Ratwata from uh, Candy. Of course, Kevin, the kicking game will be very, very vital. In fact, uh, on a lighter note, did you know uh, the, the referee for uh, the match referee is Gihan Yatavara and the assistants are Hasanta Veranga and Harshana Bijevira. Of course, in fact, I was Kevin. I was going to say on lighter note uh, that that uh, the surname Pereira is the most common surname in uh, the island nation of uh, Sri Lanka. So a lot of Pereiras uh, in the mix-up, uh, and also uh, Candy Sports Club. Uh, Dehan Vikramarachi last year, the 2022 Isi College Captain skipper Captain. starting, and also uh, your good old school boy Sadhu Kathukorla, fresh after last year's 2023 season. Playing as Sandesh Javri um, kicks off uh, the proceedings uh, as Heshan Jansen collects the ball. Tackle. This is Candy back, with the ball in possession right with the kickoff. Candy with early possession, uh, putting the ball to boot. A high hanging kick. Uh, can it be collected? No. Havis uh, wins the ball back and uh, they are inside the 50 meter mark. A big game, a big game. We have given a big, big lead up for this game. That's a, a quick pass and uh, 
have is still with possession, but uh, the referee says uh, it's Candy Ball. So Candy winning the possession back after that uh, kick. That's uh, Heshan Jansen, uh, the scrum off uh, for Candy Sports Club, uh, former Kingswood skipper, 2017 skipper for Kingswood. Here's a replay of that uh, knock-on by Havelock Sports Club. Skipper Fajuddin. Hishan Jansen will be feeding the ball into the scrum. A lot to play for for both these teams. Uh, they can't afford to make any mistakes have lock started the game uh, with a, a very silly mistake a knock on not the best of passes and uh, that's a clean scrum from Hashan Jansen he clears the ball out here's Candy here's Srinath Surya Bandara quickly passing it in skipper Lavanga Pereira that was uh, the first uh, mistake by Candy within two minutes of the game and here's your replay so if we call for a forward pass, as uh, you can see on our screens, a young Sudesh Jayavikrama, last year's uh, Peter Wright Championship winning team player and also the skipper in 2022, playing for the pink and chocolate blue chocolate jersey this time around for the Park Club. And uh, Rifan Mohammed, another candy lad, played for Kingswood, wearing number 20 as uh, the scrum half for Havelock Sports Club. Both teams conceding back-to-back -back, uh, knock-ons and giving away scrums uh, to each other. And this is Rifan Mohamed who will be feeding in now. Have lock. Marching forward, Rifan Mohamed uh, taking the ball out. So this Jai Vikram passing out wide. And it's Samuel Madhuanta. Kevin, that was earlier. Sandesh to Sudesh, uh, brotherly combination in the line uh, of uh, the Havelock Sports Club. Amir Fajuddin brought down. Here Samuel Madhuanta again putting the ball to boot. Here Samuel Madhuanta again. It wasn't the best of uh, decisions taken from Samuel Madhuanta early on, but still they've uh, managed to win the ball back and uh, have locks have knocked the ball forward again and. Uh, It'll be another scrum in favour of Candy. Both teams making back-to-back -back, uh, mistakes early on in the game, Muad. Yes, Kevin. Uh, earlier, Havis had a superb opportunity. They should have kept the gone for the touch and uh, you know opted for touch uh, in a high-tempo game like this because uh, you, it's very tough and it's a very disastrous move. Uh, at times to run the ball against uh, Candy Sports Club with the heavy defence definitely coming on. Nonetheless, uh, here's Candy again. So, heavies have been uh, keeping the Candy lads at bay in the danger zone. Candy still haven't managed to go past uh, the 50 metre mark to the opposing half. The referee Gihan Yatavara having a word uh, with both the teams and uh, he wants both sets of players to behave well in that scrum. So Hassan Johnson has the ball in his hand, he will be feeding it in. Candy have not yet managed to uh, pass that 50 meter mark, uh, Muad. They have been playing in their own half uh, right from the beginning of the game. It's Kevin. Uh as we see Nigel Ratwata putting in a brilliant kick. That's an absolute stunner. And just like we said, they are in with the first touch of the ball. They are inside the red zone of heavies. And it's a 50-22. And Nigel Ratwata cruises his team into the, the best possible territory you could ever ask for. Just uh, five meters away from the whitewash.
That was a stunning kick from Nigel Ratwata, giving his team the best of chance to open the scoring in this uh, important matchup. So here's uh, Candy, have an opportunity. It'll be Uchita Jayasuriya with the throw in. Or are the line out through and uh, that wasn't the best of uh, throws from Uchita. Giving the ball back to Havelocks. Havelocks got out of danger. Brilliant work by the Havelock uh, locks and uh, stealing that uh, ball to the much to the dismay of the Candy fans here, turning up in numbers, especially on the side below the media box. As uh, Madhuanta, uh, not a not an alien ground uh, to him, Kevin playing all his schoolboy rugby here at the Nithavala Stadium. Exactly, Muad. He got that 100 point, uh, reached that 100 point mark in the school's rugby season in 26th at this uh, particular ground itself. Uh, was that the Wesley match where he put on a drop goal in the last gasp? It and was, won it the, was. Yes. And I remember the schoolboy uh, watching that match, uh, just a, such a match with so many goosebumpy moments. And uh, Madhuanta just uh, shattered the Wesley Hearts uh, as uh, they took on a last-minute win. So that is uh, Samuel Madhuanta's caliber, a man with the boot which can fire across uh, in, from any part of the field towards the goal or to touch. And here's skipper Fajudin with the ball. A three-man, a four-man line-out they've opted. Let's see what Fajudin and his lads uh, will put up here. Have logs with possession, uh, trying to break through that defense of uh, Candy. They are slowly and steadily moving forward. And uh, early on, Candy missed a golden opportunity after that wonderful 50 22 by Nigel Ratwat. Their line of throws haven't been the best, uh, and today it wasn't the best as well. So it gave Have Locks a clear cut chance uh, uh, with a touch from uh, Samuel Madhuanta. And they are with possession now. They are looking to open the scoring. They are well away from the try line, but still. They are eager to move forward. Here's have locks again. Uh, Samuel Madhuan, they're passing it out wide. Have locks looking dangerous. Again, they are looking to pass it out wide, but uh, Tarin the Ratwata brings the player down. Muhammad Rifan opts to pass it on to the skipper. He has been brought down. Here's Rifan again. That's a brilliant pass, but wonderful work from the Candy player. Kevin, as you can see, Rifan Muhammad is pointing at the post soon as. Uh, the, the referee blew for the penalty. I think, Kevin, definitely this is and this will probably be the only proper, you know, very, very high tempo game for heavies they will ever experience because this kind of exposure, this kind of noise, loud crowds, they never experienced in a Colombo match prior to this encounter. So, this is probably one of the toughest battles for heavies playing here at the Nithaval Fortress says Madhuanta prepares for his kick. Probably one of his favourites when he venues to play as he played for Anthony's, St. Anthony's College uh, during 2015-2017 uh, to 2017 season. A very, very familiar ground for Samuel Madhuanta. Samuel Madhuanta. Samuel Madhuanta connects it makes my goodness well but it just goes out wide and uh, not the start he would have expected in his homecoming Muada. that was a good opportunity for Havelocks to get on the board to open the scoring to put pressure on Candy but unfortunately after all the hype Samuel Madhuanta just puts it out wide but uh, from the camera angle looked as if uh, the ball was in uh, so nonetheless it's Madhuanta back with the ball again he has been a man uh, with a lot of ball handling today. The ball has been always kicked uh, towards him and he has been cleanly collecting the ball as well as Sandesh now feeds no his forwards. Rock. 
Rifan Mohamed playing, uh, starting for the first time this season. One of the nippiest lads in the park, but one of the very quick Release. and agile players in the field as uh, Madhuvanta goes in for a high hanging kick. A wonderful collection uh, from the heavies number seven, uh, Sinal Silva. Silva. Yeah, Sinal Dilaka. I mean, uh, commonly known as Sinal Dilaka, 2014 uh, Isi Triple Championship winning captain as well. Playing for the Park Club just uh, right off uh, uh, opposite his school. And this is uh, Shehan Das. Rock, rock, rock. Former basketball rock. player turned into Sri Lanka national former sevens player as well. Started as a basketball player for Wesley and turned out for double blues in the rugby field as uh, Havelock Sports Club. Now, some tremendous pressure coming in by the Candy defense as Moshin Falil, the season campaigner, <laughs> fluffs the ball and gives possession to the home side. Much uh, to the much delight of the Candy fans, and as rain starts pouring in, Kevin, uh, things uh, might get a bit slippery and muddy conditions out here. Absolutely, Muad. That was a very good passage of play for Havis. They couldn't open the scoring, but yet they had plenty of possession in that uh, last five to seven minutes, and uh, they looked a threat for Candy. And uh, as you said, the rain is pouring down. Things might take a shift from here on. And Candy with a scrum Go! just in front of the 50 meter mark. Go! And Keshan Jansen has the ball in his hand and Set! he will be feeding it in. Ready! Number nine, the scrum half off Candy. Kevin, the drizzle seemed to stop uh, halfway. And uh, as uh, Nigel Rathbathe puts in a high kick, and uh, Randhita Varnapura. The win three quarter four have is collected cleanly. Our audience, our viewers cannot see the camera angle on the other side. Again, I was going to say the crowds on the open area were just trying to push off to the covered areas, uh, uh, thinking the rain might be a heavy affair. But uh, luckily, rains have stopped uh, and uh, we are seeing a bit of sun back in action here at the Nithavala grounds with uh, Havis uh, charging forward and uh, Sandesh putting in a cheeky kick there for the gap as uh, <laughs> looks like uh, referee captain. blows and Why, captain? Number calls 18. in for Number 18. probably a Number penalty 18. advantage and we might see a card also Number coming. 18. Kevin, a pocket. Uh, Offside, repeat it. That's uh, Saduka the Korala, the youngster, probably the youngest lad on the pitch uh, playing soon after his school season for St. Anthony's College. He's uh, out for 10 minutes uh, as uh, the candy forwards uh, will have a Offside. tough time defending the strong uh, Havis back out here. Would be interesting to see what that infringement for. We just uh, missed it. Uh, and here's Samuel Madhuanta gaining some good meters uh, with that kick. And uh, Havis are uh, inside the 22 meter mark inside the red zone of Number. candy. They have another Go. opportunity. Four. Candy throughout this season haven't looked well in the first half. Yes, sir, they came back well in the second half in most of the games that they played, especially against uh, Army and Air Force last week as well. Uh, but in the first half, they just don't seem to get that uh, gelled uh, thing going on. They just uh, keep to make mistakes uh, back to back. Yes, Kevin, uh, Candy, they will definitely come back strong if they are put under tremendous pressure in the first half. And we see Havis forming them all again. But uh, one, some good one. defense uh, coming in from Candy as well. With uh, minimal minimum set of players compared to Havis. And uh, it's uh, brought down as well. And uh, the ball is turned over. And uh, Candy. Just uh, defending their hearts out with Havis uh, now falling ball short. Ball. Uh, even with one player down, they could not capitalize on that opportunity. Number this has eight, been the case eight. so far for the 15 minutes that we have played. Havis having most of the possession, Havis having best of opportunities, but they just can't get that now, final 
cups go out and uh, we are seeing a change uh, the number eight of candy the han vikramarachi has been replaced uh, i think uh, it's a strategic uh, replacement coming in uh, for candy sports club Here's an opportunity for Candy to get out of jail. They have a scrum inside their red zone. All they have to do is to get the scrum clean and clear the ball out to get out of danger. Kevin, the replacement uh, was uh, Mohammed Akil, number 37. <laughs> Well, you were right, Muad. It has to be a strategical a change up from uh, Candy, especially after Sadhu Kathakura going out. And uh, they probably needed a more heavier man in the field. And uh, Candy have lost the ball. Kevin, now what we might see is uh, an interesting move. Uh, they are going, the Park Club is going for the touch. They know they have uh, one-man advantage. Uh, I mean, uh, Madhuanta is a very able kicker, but uh, looks like uh, they have his lads uh, very confident in their rolling mall. It's probably the right thing to do, uh, Muad, especially uh, when you're just inside the 22-meter mark and when you can gain uh, some good meters from the touch. And uh, as you can see, they are just uh, four or five meters away from the try line. So yes, uh, all they have to do is uh, get a clean line out through in and then go for that driving mall. Yes, uh, Kevin, uh, Mohamed Akhil's replacement, uh, it was uh, not a strategic replacement. It's a front row sin bin. So coming into the scrum uh, to... That's uh, part and parcel of the game, and uh, it's a try, of course, uh, the first try of the game for Havelock Sports Club. That's Senal Dilaka, the number seven for Havelock Sports Club, a former skipper as well. He was uh, the last season's uh, captain for Havelock Sports Club. Senal Dilaka showing that uh, why they did not opt for that three pointer. Have is now. For the first time in the game, and for the first time, both the sides, uh, from both the sides, heavy, surprisingly, taking the first points on offer. Candy, after 15 plus minutes, uh, still haven't troubled the scoreboard. And uh, Samuel Madhuanta is lining up uh, for the kick. Well, Madhuanta's previous kick wasn't the best of kicks to his standards, and this is an opportunity for the ever-reliable Samuel Madhuanta to add two more points uh, to the tally and put much more pressure on the home team. Can Samuel Madhuanta get it through? That'll be the question. And here's Samuel Madhuanta this time. That's a wonderful kick from Samuel Madhuanta. Makes going no mistake. There was a bit of a curve in that uh, kick from Samuel Madhuanta. I was going to say, it's uh, not uh, the best, it's not the easiest of jobs uh, to uh, have a kick at goal here at uh, the Nittavala home grounds of Kandy. <laughs> Lots of, uh, you know, back row chants coming in from the supporters as well. Lots of pressure for a kicker here, for any visiting team here. Kicking at uh, Nittavala, place kicking especially, is one of the toughest tasks, but... Uh, Samuel Madhuanta, cool as a cucumber, puts in that two points, a valuable two points. And we are 7 0 here with Havelock Sports Club, the visiting team, leading. Early on in the game, Candia under the pump. This was not what the home fans expected. They wanted a much more dominant performance from their team early on in this game. Yes, there is lots and lots of time left in the game, but Candy are trailing by seven points to nil and we are inching towards that 20th minute mark and Candy have the position back in their hand.
It'll be another line out through for Candy. Candy haven't been the best offsides when it comes to line out throws throughout the season. They've made, they've committed uh, plenty of errors in that line out through throughout the season. But they can't afford to make any mistakes. Just as I speak, that's another poor, poor line out through from Candy. Rifan got the ball and here's Havelocks. Here's so, uh, Sudesh, Sudesh uh, wearing number 28 jersey. Kevin uh, starting this match off. Uh, so he has been given the 28 jersey. So that's why we see a bit of a confusion with the, and especially the brothers both look alike, Sandesh and uh, Sudesh. Sandesh played for uh, St. Peter's in 2016 and Sudesh uh, in 2022 and 2023. So both look alike. And this is Sandesh towards the Shehan Dias, just uh, drops the ball right in front of the opposition and uh, lots of cries coming out, uh, lots of uh, jeering coming out from the supporters uh, yeah, the, from the home club. Uh, yeah, it's not the most ideal place to drop the ball, just close to the spectators from the touchline. So, Shehan Dias, a seasoned campaign, one of the most senior players for Havis with that mistake and uh, Kendi with ball in possession yet again. And they have got out of jail, I would say, because that looked to be a promising move from Havelocks. They just knocked the ball uh, forward and uh, Havelocks have putting in so much pressure to this Candy lineup early on in this game. They are leading by seven points. We nail Candy down by one man. Sadhukatu Korala is the man who's in the sin bin right now. Lots to be done uh, from the home team. Uh, here's an opportunity for them to get out of jail. Heshan Jansen. Here's Nigel Ratwater passing the ball out wide. Uh, Candy losing possession again. Wasn't the best of decisions from Srinath Surya Bandara who opted to kick the ball. And that's uh, brilliant word work from Akhil, uh, the replacement. The referee Gihan Yatavara is having some words uh, with the AR. I wonder what it was for. Looks like a penalty only warning for against Candy. Oh, Riff says a late tackle by a heavy player against a, a Candy player. Here's a the replay as Surya Bandara puts in a grabber and uh, that was the late charge which uh, eventually is now being taken by Nigel Ratwatha to kick to touch and the touch uh, finds almost uh, towards the 22 meter line. Candy cannot afford to make any mistakes uh, from here on. They missed two line out throws. Two of them uh, were pretty poor uh, from their standards. And uh, here's uh, the hooker, Uchita Jayasurya, with another opportunity. Given uh, Praveen Charles, uh, another seasoned uh, lad for Candy, is out today. Uh, any reason for that? Well, he was uh, suffering from an injury early on in the season and he wasn't uh, fit enough uh, till January. And uh, he played the last game. And uh, as for sources, it says that uh, he has injured himself again. Not a severe injury, but just a precautionary uh, from Candy. And here's Candy again uh, with the ball. It's uh, Dinale Kanayak, a strong lad. Sean Johnson passing out wide and uh, not cleanly collected from Tilina Bandara. Losing position again. Havis winning the ball back. And uh, Sandesh Jayasurya puts the ball to boot. And... Uh, Kevin, that was not the best of the kicks uh, by Sandesh. Uh, it uh, touched the hands of uh, one of the Canada defenders. But luckily enough for the Havis, they have the knock-on advantage and a scrum right here. Well, Muad Saduka Tukurala is back on the field uh, after serving 10 minutes in the sin bin. So, Candy are back level on numbers with Havelock. So, this is an opportunity for them to fight back hard into the game and... Uh, 
Heavy is currently leading seven points to nil. One of the rare moments where the crowd is all silent here at Nittavala. They have been jeering and cheering throughout the game so far. And uh, Rifan passes the ball to Samuel Madhuanta. He puts the ball to boot. Uh, and it wasn't the best of kicks from him. Srinath Surya Bandara collects it and he puts a high hanging kick and uh, almost collects it. But Havis have possession back. That's uh, Madhuanta again with a brilliant collection there. Under pressure. Again, uh, Nigel Ratwatta collecting the ball, passing out to Srinath Surya Bandara. Here's Tarinder Ratwatta. He passes out wide and uh, Tarinder Ratwatta collects it again. Wonderful work from Candy. Can they score the first try? Yes, they will. That will be the opening try for Candy in this game. And it's uh, Dinale Dinale Kanayaka. Kanayaka who is the scorer for Candy. Candy right back in the game. After Havis putting so much pressure to Candy, Candy have found a way to get back into the game. That was a brilliant play from Candy Muad, especially with those quick passes and Tarin the Ratwat. What a brilliant move. Yes, Kevin, uh, the Havelock defense was just wondering what on earth was going on. This probably would have been, it probably can be one of the title contenders for one of the season's best tries. This came out of nothing. And just that coordination between Ratwatha and his all his backs, he knows, he knew that Dinal Ekinayaka was running into that ball, whereas the Havis players were just uh, lost in the midst of the run. And they did not pounce on the ball, they just let Dinal grab that uh, opportunity. This uh, just shows how much Candy is well gelled as a unit going in to the mid-season compared to the earlier parts of the season. Here's the ever reliable Tarindra Ratwata under the ball with an opportunity to equal the scoring. The crowd is silent and they are eagerly waiting for him to connect this well and get the ball through the pose. And uh, he does get it through the pose. So it will be Candy 7 and Havelock SC 7. What a start we've had for this game. Both teams looking very, very good. Both teams are wanting to score back to back. Yes, they've made plenty of mistakes, but we are having a cracker so far. And that pitch of a conversion from the leftmost corner of the field, Tanid Ratwatha makes no mistake, just bread and butter stuff for him here at his home grounds. and shows how much uh, of a reliable kicker he is as... Uh, Hazan Jansen, the halfback, puts in a huge up and under. A high hanging kick, rather, and uh, Samuel Madhuanta collects it cleanly. Here's Heavies. They definitely will uh, play more with their forwards. That is uh, their strength, uh, according to the paper. But according to paper, Heavies. Uh, have their best ranks in both the backs and the forwards, whereas uh, Candy is now back on the rhythm. They are playing like uh, the way they really used to play, and this will be the second try. Danushka Ranjan, goodness me, just uh, again, Kevin, where is the heaviest defense? What are they doing? This is amazing stuff by Candy. They are playing like the good old days of candy rugby, just really good, fast, open rugby with their backs, kicking the ball and chasing and uh, just uh, bamboozling the defence. They are out of nowhere in sight. Well, this is what Srinath Surya Bandara has been looking for right from the beginning of the game to look for that gap and kick the ball through and find his own player and this time, it turned out well for him and Danushka Ranjan going over the whitewash to score the second try of the game for Candy. And this place, Nittavala, is like a carnival right now. And Tarindarathwatha again from another tight angle. 
will be looking to add two more points to the tally. The crowd is behind uh, Tarinder. Tarinder Atwat. Lots of jeering and cheering going on uh, in the stands, and Tarinder Atwat uh, lines himself, lines up himself for this uh, conversion. Here's Ratwata with the second kick off the game and uh, this time it's not successful but still can lead 12 points to 7 right at the 30th minute mark of this game. Here's a replay of that unsuccessful conversion from uh, Tarinda Ratwata, a rare mistake from him. Nevertheless, Candia in the lead and as the home crowd expected, their team is right and well back on track. Well, for almost 20 minutes, Candy were under the bomb, but now it's Havis who are under the bomb. Their defense uh, seems to be clueless whenever Candy breaks through and uh, gets into that 20 22 meter mark. Here's Sean Johnson uh, putting the ball to boot and uh, he finds Samuel Madhuanda. Samuel Madhuanda opts to pass it out. A good work there from the Candy defense and uh, here's Rifan again to Sandesh and uh, that seemed to be a high tackle but no call from referee as of now and uh, Referee calls a back play. Gihan Yatavara calls back play possibly for that uh, high tackle. A have luck body on the ground, Muad. It's given uh, probably uh, one of the stoppages where we saw a player on the ground. A big, big setback for Candy. Tarinder Atwat has been sent into the sin bin. It was a high tackle coming from him. Tarinder is the star player for Candy, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what Javi is opt uh, to do. It seems as if though they are looking for touch, and uh, no, they are going for the three points. Samuel Madhuanta, a very, very able kicker right in front of the 50 meter mark what's working for him uh, here is that the angle isn't uh, that tough it's just uh, right in front of the post but 50 meters or 48 meters away can samuel madhuanta add three points uh, that'll be the question and uh, the crowd uh, seems to be Under the pump, and here Samuel Madhuanta, a flat kick, and uh, it goes wide. Uh, not the best uh, of kicks from Samuel Madhuanta. He has the potential to kick uh, from 50, 60 meters, but this was not the best of his kicks. Definitely, Kevin. I remember in 2016 when during the Trinity versus St. Anthony's game at Palle Kale, Madhuanta just out of nowhere put over a 55 meter drop goal. I mean, uh, must have been a schoolboy record uh, in the country, a 55-minute drop goal. Uh, that was the high-caliber kicking, that is the high-caliber kicking coming in from uh, this lad. As uh, heavies now yet again, Rifan Mohammed to Sandesh. Here's uh, Sudesh Jayavikram to Madhuanta and uh, Havelock Sports Club, Randita Varnapura scores on the left flank and equalizes as well. And Moshin Falil drops to the floor. Another senior campaigner for Havelock Sports Club. Nonetheless, it's Randita Varnapura with the equalizing score and the second try for Havelock Sports Club, the visiting team and silencing the candy crowd, Kevin. Well, the crowd here is stunned as of now. They weren't expecting Havelocks to get back and score another try because Candy were looking so good. Uh, they were putting so much pressure to 
uh, have logs after getting those two back-to-back -back tries. Here, here's that replay. Uh, Rifan uh, getting the ball, passing out it quickly. And uh, Kevin, this is a simple, basic rugby. Just uh, apply the general rules and just pass the ball out, find the gap, and run for it. It's uh, again textbook uh, style rugby here. Nothing fancy, nothing big. Just playing smartly and uh, safely. And here's the opportunity again for Samuel Madhuanta. His fourth kick of the game and uh, he has an opportunity to add two more points to his team and get the lead. And uh, it looks as if though it will go in. Yes, it does. Uh, have Lock Park lead Candy by 14 points at 12. And we are into the 34th a minute of the game. That's the Samuel Madhuanta that we know. And Samuel Madhuanta and Have Lock Park are at their Best. Well, there was a big setback, Muad uh, Tarin Daratwat, going into the sin bin. Uh, previously, we saw when Saduka Tukorala went into the sin bin just after four or five minutes, Havelock found a way to score. And again, this time Tarinda went out and Havelock find a way to score again. So, Candy have to be uh, careful when they are. Uh, you know, uh, going in for those uh, uh, tackles and all. A really valid uh, point, uh, Kevin, there. Two yellow cards, both the yellow cards, after both the yellow cards, by, considered by Candy, have he's managed to score and score tries. And uh, that's a very, very advantageous position for the visiting team, the Park Club, as Sinal Dilika goes for a hit. That wasn't the best of kicks. Candy with an opportunity to get going for that third try under the post. And that will be the third try for Candy. The crowd here is up on their feet, cheering for their home team. Candy, it didn't take much for them to get their lead. It is Chaturanga Kudaligi with the third try of the game for Candy. Candy are currently with 19 points to 12 they are leading another Have hometown I beg your pardon it will be yeah. 17 points to 14 it's going to another hometown lad chaturanga kudilige former kings udian this will be a much easier conversion for candy right under the post and it will be the veteran nigel ratwatha and he adds two more points uh, candy 19 points have locked 14 points what a first half we've had so far with just four minutes to go in this half this game has already turned out to be a cracker of a game one and uh, just like that uh, have locked sports club sunday shai vikrama he has been uh, warned earlier as well the warning signals were given to him previously because earlier in one of his clearance kicks right from almost the same exact spot. Few hands were touching his clearance and this time around Sandesh is very well caught and his weakness has been identified by Candy and just like that even conceding a yellow card with Tanagur Atwata, their playmaker out, Candy's post club manages to score a goal, a seven pointer here at the crucial game here and definitely we might see as keeper Fajrin points a three pointer coming in from uh, the Havelock Sports Club. Well I was just about to say it'll be interesting if Havelock uh, put some points from here on uh, going into the half time and uh, here Samuel Madhuanta with a golden opportunity to get the deficit up to just two points or rather four points uh, three points uh, with his uh, kick and uh, can Samuel Madhuanta get this through? I beg your pardon, it's actually two points because uh, if he gets this through, Havelox will move on to 17 points and Candy will be 19. Big, big uh, boost to fill for Samuel Madhuanta. His team is relying on him. Three points here. The deficit being just two points will give so much more confidence for Havelox heading or rather going into the later half of the game and Samuel Madhuanta effortlessly kicks it through. So it will be Havelock 17 and Candy SC 19. Here's the confirmation. Samuel Madhuanta with another good kick and uh, he has made the difference. The deficit is just two points. Here's the replay of that easy, easy penalty kick from Samuel Madhuanta.
Well, end-to-end -end mistakes uh, from both sides, uh, giving points to their opponents, uh, starting with Havis with that poor kick from Sandesh Jayavadana, giving the opportunity for Candy to score. And from the other end, Candy conceding a penalty right in front of the post. And uh, here's Samuel Madhuanta again putting the ball to boot. Hishan Johnson is under the ball. He collects it well. Here's Srina Surya Bandara. He passes it out wide to Nigel Ratwata. Nigel Ratwata with the ball. Candy. Kevin, that is the most dangerous position out here in the game because definitely that firing line, it's, they just run in blitz fast seconds. And so this is a very, very crucial moment for Havis. They have to defend. If not, definitely this will be another five-pointer for Candy by the looks of uh, their strategies and the plays they have ployed throughout the season. That corner flag moves is one of the most interesting and the most uh, anticipated moves, especially weighted by the fans as well. They know when that goes in for the left flank, it will definitely be a try as a referee blows for half-time. It's 19 or 17, a very, very close affair. Absolutely, Muad. One of the closest games we've had as so far in this season. This was always setting up to be a blockbuster and so far it has turned out to be. Yes, both teams have committed mistakes, but they've found way to score as well. Here's the confirmation of the halftime score. Candy SC 19 and Havelock SC 17 and we are in for an exciting second half. And uh, with that, we will be going for a... Yes, Kevin, we might have a package of highlights coming in for all our viewers who uh, might have missed or who would love to see an uh, action-packed first half where we saw 19 points scored by Candy and 17 points scored by Havelock's Sports Club here at Nithavala. Altogether, 36 points scored here in the first half, only in the first half, and as you can see, this is uh, the first score of the game by Havelock Sports Club. They started off the proceedings with the first try of a rolling mall. They went uh, for a gutsy line-out uh, move through a rolling mall rather than going for three points. And here's uh, the try which put uh, Candy right on the mark, on the money as Lavanga Pereira to Tarindra Atwa Tarindra. Knew where Dinalekanaka was running off and Dinalekanaka just taking on and pouncing on that ball to score a left flank try and Tarin Ratwata making no mistake with the most hardest kick he had today and uh, this you should definitely see Srinath Surya Bandara's magic all his years of experience uh, with that uh, kick into space and another veteran Danushka Ranjan a star player in the Sri, Sri Lanka schools and later national rugby circuit and this was one of the most uh, uh, important blows for candy as ratwata went off uh, with randita varnapura going in for the try for havelock sports club the equalizing try for heavies shell shocking the home crowd hometown boy samuel madhuanta playing for heavies put over that difficult angle kick and as you can see, Sandesh Jayavikrama's mistake. Chaturanga de Silva pouncing that Chaturanga Kudlege pouncing on that ball with Nigel Ratwata making no mistake. And Madhuanta finally putting Heavies right on the game with just two points separating these two teams. Kevin, we have an absolutely cracking game on our hands in the second half. Exactly, Muad. And with that, we'll be going in for a short commercial break. On the other side, we have the second half action. So don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Club Rugby is back on the Papare.
eight contenders, one champion. Nippon Paint Rugby League, 1st December onwards, live on the Papare TV, Dialogue TV channel 126, Dialogue View app and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Protect your home from harmful bacteria. Nippon Paint Medifresh, a powerful combination of silver and zinc ions. Nippon Paint, the coatings expert. Eight contenders, one champion. Nippon Paint Rugby League. 1st December onwards, live on the Papare TV, Dialogue TV channel 126, Dialogue View app and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. <laughs> Introducing NeosPay, a fun way to make payments from your Neos app. For the fun of paying, hashtag NeosPay. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z Z We KYC Easy Mobile banking Crazy Education loans and salary advances Amazing Introducing the Digital Youth Account NDBZ NDBZ from NDB Bank The future is banking on us Have you heard about Z? Z Z. We KYC. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smashed him for six. Big bombs. Myers and a go. Richards it knocks him over. You win the big league. <laughs> Celebration, he is fired up. Big league stand. Magnificent catch. You win the big league stand. Yeah. Yeah. Take it. Big league stand. Heroic. He gets all of it. The biggest bash of T20 cricket is here. KFC Big Bash League 2023. <laughs> The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smashed him for six. Big bombs. Myers and a go. Richards it knocks him over. You win the big <laughs> Celebration. He is fired up. Big big stand. Magnificent catch. You win the big big stand. Yeah. The biggest bash of T20 cricket is here. KFC Big Bash League 2023. <laughs> Introducing Neos Pay, a fun way to make payments from your Neos app. For the fun of paying, hashtag Neos Paid.
Welcome back to this all-important Nippon Paint Lug Rugby League action from Nittavala brought to you by the Papare TV. The game between Havelock Sports Club and Candy Sports Club. We've had a cracker of an opening half more than we are in for another exciting second half with both teams just uh, uh, differentiating themselves uh, with two points. Yes, Kevin. And interestingly, a very, very important factor Candy has conceded six penalties uh, in the first half and uh, Heavy's conceded only one penalty and uh, three unforced knock-ons by Havelock Sports Club uh, as well as uh, two unforced uh, knock-ons by Candy so six penalties given away by Candy Sports Club one penalty given away by Havelock Sports Club match officials Yan Yatavara with uh, his two assistants Hasanta Viranga and Harshana Vijayvira. Uh, thanks to our good friend Arun Pille for with his uh, stats and trivia. In fact, uh, Kevin said it's a big number given away. Six penalties given away by Candy in the first half. It is, it is. Candy being a dominant uh, side throughout the season. You wouldn't expect that coming from a team like uh, them. And uh, here's Nigel Rathwata with the ball, with the restart. And uh, here we are with the second half action of this all-important game uh, coming to you live from Nittavala. Here's Rifan passing the ball. Jackal, roll away! Eli, Eli, Eli. Rifan again giving the ball to Samuel Madhuanta and he puts the ball to Buta. And uh, a good collection from Srinath Surya Bandara, the candy number 15 and uh, Kevin uh, Suri, as he's fondly known, uh, looks like a schoolboy still. I mean, he has uh, toned down compared to the last few seasons as a so like Looks as if he's just fresh out of school as the Nigel Rathwata puts a punt and Rifan moment collects it cleanly. And uh, a very, very agile, very sneaky guy who can uh, uh, sneak inside any part of the field. That's what the specialty he brings in. Not a big player, but one of the most nippiest lads, but uh, very, very agile as Samuel Madhuanta puts in to a good space out there. And Dina Lekanayaka under tremendous pressure here as uh, giving away a penalty by Candy Sports Club as roughly clearly signals. Decent effort from Samuel Madhuanta, almost, almost uh, Confuse the candy defenses and uh, de defenders, and uh, here's uh, the replay of that uh, infringement from Havelock. And that's a wonderful uh, kick uh, from Candy, finding good meters, and it'll be another line out throw for them. And uh, I've been saying right from the beginning of the game, Candy's line out throws haven't been up to the mark throughout the season. And uh, also Kevin, Candy's playmaker, Talinder Atwata, is back in action. After that uh, yellow card, he got for a high shot. And I'm pretty sure our viewers uh, can hear out loud the papare noises, the loud chants, and of course the music all over the park here. The crowds are alive and back in action with uh, comparatively a large crowd uh, turning up here at the Candy Sports Club and a high shot. Uh. Quickly taken from Candy here, starring the Ratwata. Still with position and uh, the referee calls back play and it will be a yellow card uh, coming in and it is uh, a big, big setback early on in the game. Uh, second half four. Have Lock Sports Club. It is uh, Udara Lakshan who has been sent into the sin bin. Not 10. What a start Point. for Candy. They have the opportunity. They have the opportunity to go for the three points, and rightly so, they go for the three points with uh, ever reliable kicker as star in the Ratwata in your ranks. You should take points whenever it's available for you. and. Uh, 
Canby currently with 19 points to 17 has the opportunity to take the points up to 22. Kevin, I think the uh, Nithwala crowds uh, are observing a moment of silence uh, for the first time in the game as uh, helping out the hometown boy uh, to go for that uh, three-pointer. Let's see, let's have a, shall we also have a silence moment and to let our fans know how does it well, that's the end of that <laughs> silent moment and as Tarin the Ratwat uh, puts the ball through the post, it is Candy 22 and Havelock SC 17. A great start for Candy, especially with the Havelock player being sent into the sin bin. Havelock are down to 14 men, Muad. Kevin, if my memory serves right, in fact, this is probably the first time that I personally have seen Candy opting to go for three-pointers. Uh, Whereas in the earlier matches, they never went for three-pointers. Even at very, very kickable ranges, they always went for the touch. So this is a very interesting move. That means uh, they are taking uh, heavies uh, very seriously. They are respecting the opposition and going for the three-pointer. But anyway, getting that uh, points is very important. But this we never saw in the previous matches by Candy. They always went for touch. Exactly, Moa. Lots and lots of respect being shown to their opponents by Candy SC. And of course, with the game being so close as it is, uh, that's the best move uh, possible to take uh, from a Candy uh, perspective. And uh, here's the replay of that uh, high tackle which we saw earlier on. And uh, here's the skipper of Havelock's uh, Fajudin uh, with the line out throw. Not the best of line out throws. And, uh, Nigel Ratwata collects the ball. He tries to step through the defense of uh, Havelocks and uh, Candy still with position and their crowd, uh, the, their home support is right behind them. Here's uh, Candy again, Tarin the Ratwata trying to go on his own. Hishan Jansen passing it to Nigel Ratwata and uh, Candy still with position and uh, unfortunately they have lost position for holding on. So have Locke get out of jail and that looked like a promising promising move from Candy as well. Yes, Kevin, fiery as usual and great work by the uh, heavies forwards uh, to force that uh, holding on penalty and uh, Madhuanta. Oh, for the first time in the game, he could not find touch as big man, Jason Dissanayaka, another hometown Candy lad with the ball in possession. Sadhukati Kora, the youngster, being put down and... Uh, might see another three-pointer, Kevin, as Fajrin rightly points at the post. Well, another opportunity for the hometown, another hometown lad, uh, Samuel Madhuanta, to get the deficit down to two points. And uh, this is, of course, uh, a decent uh, kick up for his stand, especially considering the fact that uh, it is right in front of the post. Yes, it's uh, 40 meters away from the post, but as we know, Samuel Madhuanta has the potential to kick the ball from 50, 60 meters. And uh, unfortunately, he couldn't get the ball through in his previous <laughs> attempt <laughs> of a similar distance. But this time, can Samuel Madhuanta get it through? Lots of cheering from the Candy supporters as Samuel Madhuanta lines up for the penalty kick. And uh, here's Samuel Madhuanta with another flat kick. And this time... It's another wasted opportunity for Havelocks. Uh, Samuel Madhuanta, despite getting three kicks through, hasn't been the best of days for him. Here's the replay of that kick just Number going uh, out wide of that. Number four. Number four. Goal pose and uh, Candy getting out of jail Eight. again. They are still with a five point lead. Tarindaratwatta kicking the ball into the hands of uh, the Havelock players. Havelock with possession. No, 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 you lost the ball. Here's Rifan. Rifan again and uh, Excellent turnover from Candy. Candy wins possession back just in front of the 50 meter mark, and Nigel Ratwat 
has the ball in his hands and uh, there's a discussion going up between Nigel Ratwata and Tarinda Ratwata, the two Ratwatas. Uh, it seems as if though Tarinda Ratwata decides to go for the pose. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, the referee points at the pose. So Candy again going for the three points instead of going for touch. Uh, an interesting move from them. Kevin, uh, if you notice properly, I am pretty sure we... It is just right. Now, penalty the penalty candy staff uh, is sending out, uh, just sent out the kicking tee. They were waiting for a while because I'm pretty sure the coaching staff and everyone else uh, wants to go for touch. But uh, Ratwatha just says that he wants to have a kick at goal. So this is a different candy uh, strategy that we have never seen in the previous games of the league. Absolutely, Muad Tharinder Atwat sets himself up for another penalty kick and here's Tharinder Atwat with an opportunity to get the score up to 25. And uh, it goes wide again. Uh, both kickers of Havelock and Candy SC. Number 13, Candy, number 13. Two penalty kicks are from both in Zermuad. Nonetheless, Kevin, uh, like our good friend Boa Atu always say, kicks win matches and you just go for kicks and get the points on board because the big W is the most important part of the game and you will get the ball back in possession even though your kick uh, uh, didn't uh, get uh, the required three points and here's Ratwate again the very very high hanging kick and Jai Vikrama senior gets it and goes to Rifan Mohammed. Rifan just uh, uh, plays a uh, little bit of a razzle and dazzle in the danger zone but keeps the ball alive here's Havelock number 10 uh, that's a poor, poor pass from him. Captain. There was a clear opportunity for them to get the ball out Captain. wide and just run through Captain. the uh, touch line. And uh, Havelocks have again Captain. lost possession from a very good play. So Candy get Stop. out of jail again and they have a scrum forward in their favour. <laughs> number eight. Number eight, number eight. Off. And here we see a replacement from Candy. Dahan Vikramarachi goes out and uh, it's Sanushka Abe Vikrama. Former Trinitian. Another Candy lad. Coach! Schooling in Candy as well. So lots of uh, mix of uh, Candy Kulambu combinations this time around. Four. The Hill Country Club as Heshan Jansen feeds in. He's playing a pivotal role throughout the past few seasons for Candy. Nigel Ratwatha, probably one of the most senior campaigners here in the Candy outfit. Unfortunately, Candy knocks the ball forward. Here's the opportunity for Sudesh Jai Vikrama, and he puts the ball to boot and uh, almost given a could have been a great touch find there as Surya Bandara is uh, under a bit of Why pressure don't? but uh, gets as Sudesh, uh, no it's Dinupa, former DS skipper, another fresh young lad playing out for the park club. We have reached the 51st minute mark and uh, still leading Platform. by 22 points to 17. It's just a matter of a drive, I have locks to get back into the game and uh, with 20 more minutes or 30 more minutes to go, Havelocks have the opportunity. They are well in the game. Five points is not a big lead. And here's Samuel Madhuanta passing the ball into the center. Run away! Here's Rifan to Samuel Madhuanta. Samuel Madhuanta unfortunately couldn't collect it cleanly. That did not look like uh, I don't know for my uh, to, to my eyes it did not look as a knock forward uh, let's see Kevin no, I was it's surprised as well when the referee called it for a knock on it's a 50-50 call but uh, 
could have gone either way. Skin and also Kevin, uh, the game after now, the, both the attacks, shapes uh, of both the teams are very predictable. So, lots of holding on, penalties given away in a very short Number time 40. space as well. Atalia. So, oh, yeah. let's see if the predictability of uh, the attacking shapes of both the sides will have a shift of gears Number in the game as uh, Shahan Silva goes out and uh, Isuru Pereira comes in as number eight. Isuru, uh, another youngster, played for Wesley in 2022. So, lots of fresh blood coming in for the Park club as well. Candy with another scrum. Kishan Jansen. Feeding it in. Sanushka Bevikramat collects the ball. And here's Nigel Ratwatha. He passes it out wide to Srinath Surya Bandara. Srinath Surya Bandara goes alone. Srinath Surya Bandara stands alone. That will be another try for Candy. It's Candy 27 and agony for Havelocks. Kevin, I was just telling how Suri looks as if he's uh, fresh out of school. And uh, after. I don't know what, more than uh, 15, I'm pretty sure, more than fif almost 15 years of uh, playing in the club circuit. This man is just lightning fast as uh, usual and he has toned down more. He's, he has cut down weight and looked looks like a player who just played the last rugby season for Isipatana, his good old school, Kevin. Well, he was a head coach for St. Anthony's. Maybe he took some uh, gym sessions with the Antonians when he was coaching and uh, uh, got himself down a bit. And here, starting the Ratwatha again with another conversion. Most of his kicks have been successful today. And here's the opportunity for him to get the score up to 29. Missed the penalty just a while ago. And this time, it's another missed conversion. So the score line will remain Candy SC 27 and Havelock SC 17. Havelock trailing by 10 points. It's not going to be easy, especially with the crowd behind Candy SC for Havelocks to get back into the game. They need two tries or maybe three penalties and a try. Yes, Kevin, it's a 10 point affair now. As uh, Havis uh, will now be feeling lots and lots of pressure as Sandesh goes in deep and Chanson just uh, very cool, very calm, very composed. Kicks it out and clears off his marks. And uh, Havis will now have ball in possession. Let's see what the Park Club have in offer in the last. Uh, 25 minutes to 30 minutes of the game. Thirty-one, thirty-one. Well, this has been the case throughout the season. When comes the second half, Candy is a different outfit. We have saw it in the previous games and in this game as well, Candy were not the best uh, in the first half, but in the second half, they have got things back right on track. Market or you're gun. Closing the gap says the referee, so it'll be a scrum in favor of the half a meter gun note. Can they find a way to score another try? Bang made in the work out of my response for in a bang in the killer you work out the winner. It's given candy also had failed to stick with the enemy than speculated mark. In the line out, so referee calls in ball in favor of Heavy, says Rifan Mohammed. Definitely the nippiest lad on the field, but has been a, a very quick, fast paced guy for Havelock Sports Club. Yet again, another product of uh, the hometown school of Candy, Kingswood College. So, as Isuru Pereira goes to Rifan. 
Rifandu Dinu Pasini Viratna. Dinu Pa charged down, but he sort of holds on. His Suru might just be. Yes, sir. Uh, Candir's rush defense coming in and just uh, have his caught napping there. Lots and lots of heavy work coming by the Candy Lads out here. Here's that replay again. Uh, Havelocks did their best to keep the ball in, but unfortunately, they just couldn't hold on. And here's another line out through for Candy SC. And it'll be again Uchita Jayasuri here. A bit of a jumble in the line out throw, but Candy somehow manages to hold on to the ball as uh, Sanushka Bevikrama collects the ball out from the ruck and moves forward and... Uh, Get back! <laughs> Interesting uh, from Candy instead of... Uh, Clearing the ball, they were opting to go through the defense of Havelocks, and that co has costed them as they've given position back uh, to Havelocks as Samuel Madhuanta collects the ball and uh, he'll be looking for touch as it seems because uh, they are down by 10 points. So a try is a must for them from here on, and Samuel Madhuanta finds good distance. Yes, Kevin, they are very confident in going for touch. Uh and uh, definitely Samuel has the pace to go for the three-pointer as well. Three points do matter because we are we have almost uh, 20 minutes of the game uh, right Don't here. The gap. Right. Uh, I'm not sure whether Hurry. Madhuanta has lost a bit of confidence after that two missed kicks uh, at goal. <laughs> Both the Time teams, on. Kevin, have to put a lot of phases together. That has been a very messy affair, a bit of a stop-start affair between the two teams. As Surya Dudangoda uh, with the scrum cap, uh, he's also a player who played in the champion outfit of 2022 for Isi Patana. Another fresh blood coming in for the get back, get back. club. Can be holding on tight. Uh, Use the ball! But have locks, have the strength and they are inching forward. Can Havelock find a way through? Candy has brought them down. Havelock still with position in front of the try line, in front of the pose. And here's get Havelock back, again. Get Candy back, holding get on. Get Havelock marching wait. forward. Interesting few minutes coming our way. Can Havelock find a way through? Here's the skipper collecting the ball. Advantage, the high tackle. But Candy. A bit strong for them. Here's Rifan passing the ball out wide to the number six of Havelocks, but he can't go through the defense. Here's Rifan again. And here's Havelock. It's a motion for Lila, another very seasoned campaigner, one of the most experienced lads in the pitch right now. Interesting passage of play. Get back. Havelock. Get back. Offside number four trying again. To find a way through. Candy. Desperately holding on. Here's Rifan again. Here's Samuel Madhuanta. Quick pass. With more advantage, Kevin coming in. And Dinu Pasinivaratna touches down to get uh, Havelock's uh, third try of the game to make it a five point affair now. And yes, Kevin, you, can, you could see how Havis put on the faces and went on to score. This is what we have been missing. So Havis, kudos to them. They've kept the ball alive and put on those phases which were lacking by both the teams. And now, five points on the board. Well, Candy desperately tried to hold on and uh, put in a strong effort in the defence. But unfortunately, Havis uh, just found a way through and uh, they scored uh, another try. So it's 22 points to 27 with Samuel Madhuanta. Has been replaced uh, from the kicking duties as uh, Sudesh will be taking the conversion. Interesting call from Havelock SC. Can Sudesh be the game changer? Can Sudesh get the two points? The Havelock fans are eagerly waiting. Not at Nithavala because Nithavala is filled with candy fans, but from their homes. And here's Sudesh Jai Vikrama. And Sudesh Jai Vikrama puts the ball out wide as well. Almost, it almost looked as if though it was going in. So the change of kickers. Uh, Hasn't helped the cause for Havelock. And here's the replay of that try. Candy just going 
to sleep for a moment and have locks found a way through. So it will remain, the scoreline will remain 27 points. Candy and 22 points have lock, have lock trailing by five points. It's just a matter of a try. But what's working on Candy's favor is that Havelock has to score a try and also they will have to make sure that Candy doesn't score a try. Yes, definitely. Now, Havi is, uh, if they are to stay in contention in the game, they have to outfox and uh, keep uh, the Candy lads at bay. Because definitely, you know, when Candy are on fire, they are sound on marching in the last few gasps, uh, in the last few moments of the game. Because they definitely come all guns blazing in the latter part of the game. This is their hometown. This is their home ground. So they will definitely want to cheer their fans for some really, really good trade of rugby. As Rifan Mohamed will now go in for a Samuel Madhuanta with a great, superb kick. A good kick but uh, again to the hands of Dinale Kanayaka, not the best of the touch finders though. As Madhuanta again right on the money with the ball in collection. Candy have won the ball back. Here's Ishan Jansen to Jason Disanayaka. He passes the ball to Malita Vijay Sundar. He has been brought down. Here's Ishan Jansen to Nigel Ratwata. Sanushka to Srina Surya Bandara. Here's Tarinda Ratwata. Arindar Atwat uh, inching forward. Candy still with position. Hishan Jansen. Nigel Ratwat. Uh, here's Malita. Release. Candy with position. Nigel Ratwat uh, trying to go through the defense and uh, he has been brought down. Hishan Jansen uh, to Chita. have lost the ball again. Uh, it seemed to be a good move uh, from Candy, but unfortunately they just couldn't uh, put the final touches to it as uh, have locks have one position back. A while ago you said Muad that uh, Candy are a very tough uh, side when it comes to the final few minutes they somehow find a way to score and yes when they score when they score twice so that's the important thing Havelock have to look into because they will have to score a try and they will have to uh, keep Candy away from scoring a try as well. Kevin, uh, we saw just saw young Surya Dudangoda uh, getting a bit of a touch of ice uh, by the physio and in fact uh, again uh, Luckily, we rarely saw any serious injury concern in, in the game. A uh, very few stoppages, so that's great to see uh, from both the teams. And Candy, I think uh, none, of the, none of the players uh, were harmed with serious injuries. Anyway, Madhuanta's second time this is uh, missing out on that valuable touch finder. So Samuel Madhuanta really, really needs to get his uh, kicking game uh, right here on this in the second half. He just missed two valuable chances to get his team out of jail, but. Just like that, gifting away possession for the hometown team. Well, a rare off game for Samuel Madhuanta. He was the man of the match in Havelock's uh, previous game. And uh, here's Candy again. Uh, Akhil passing the ball to Sanushka. Candy trying to go through the defense of Havelock's. Have been brought down. Candy with possession. Here's Kudalige passing the ball to Uchita. Nigel Ratwata to Malita. It's a great defensive work by the youngster Sura Dudangoda. Malita almost uh, losing possession, but Tarinda Ratwata was there to save Candy. And here's Jason Disanayaka, the big man, with the handoff. And uh, Hishan Jansen passing the ball out to Akil. Akil to Kudalige. Also, Kevin, Candy really need to kick deep into the heavies 22 and play the ball as a unit, a lot of phases together like this. Uh, regard, uh, unless playing uh, without playing a solo game. So again, great work by the heavies forwards to force that uh, holding on. And uh, Candy, now 
Feeling that pressure again as uh, Sandesh Jai Vikraman now finally, finally gets a good touch finder and gets his team into the 22 of Candy Sports Club. And we might see a change coming in for Candy. Uh, Heshan Jansen is off. Yes. After a fine game, Jansen is off. And uh, the replacement. Let's. Kasun Zuranga is the replacement for Candy Sports Club. Have logs with a golden opportunity well inside the 22 meter mark. That's a decent line out through, and they have formed them all. Can they march through with them all? Can they find another try and put pressure on Candy and equalize the scoring? The question will be answered. And have logs going strong with them all. Candy struggling to hold, hold on and uh, they have eventually brought the heavies uh, mall down and... Uh, advantage also coming in favour of uh, Candy, Kevin. Kevin, if, if for those uh, in favour of heavies, I beg your pardon. Kevin, if, imagine if those three-pointers were sorted in and a few and that last uh, conversion went in, what could have been the scoreboard? This definitely is a very kickable range. Uh, uh, slotted goal for Madhuanta. They are going in for the touch. Definitely, Havelock Sports Club uh, within just five meters away from the whitewash. And Kevin, earlier, the, this particular moment of the game we are seeing is because of that unforced error previously committed by uh, Candy Sports Club with that holding on penalty. So lots of holding on penalties, uh, especially in the first half as well. Six holding on, six penalties were given away by Candy compared uh, to uh, Havelock's only one single penalty given away in the first half. So this is what we are seeing in the second half. Oh! Here's Havis again with another clean line out through. It's okay, it's okay. They have the opportunity to score a try. Adrenaline is pumping on each and every fan and commented and play out here as Candy wins the ball back. Have blocks again. Just can't get those final touches through Muad. Just giving that mall ball. That was uh, lots of work put in by the Candy lads in the mall. So we are seeing. We are just, we might just see one of the most close, closest encounters that uh, we have witnessed. And of course, Candy has uh, played throughout this uh, five weeks of action packed rugby here. The Nippon Paint Interclub Rugby League. Set! Candy with Ready. this drama, with an opportunity to get out of jail. <laughs> have locks. Kevin, heavies have the firepower, they have the strength of the forwards. So what they need to do is they need to force the set piece and take the pace out of the game. You know, because Candy is so, so fiery. They have to keep uh, Candy just pinched in the, uh, their own 22. That is what the strategy should be as uh, heavies uh, will definitely suffer hard if uh, Candy is given a free lease uh, to run the ball because they are very dangerous with running the ball. So what Heads up, really heads should up, do is just force the set piece, out, use their firepower and keep Candy Crouch. in their 22. If not, Candy will take the run right. And, uh, a lot of poor errors came in, coming in from both the teams when comes to executing the skills uh, without any errors. Lots and lots of errors and Candy, as you can see, error in the scrum by Havis uh, losing the weight out there and pushing in the scrum and giving away, gifting away position and Candy. Like I said earlier, Kevin, lots of very, very poor performance by both the teams when it comes to executing uh, their skills without any errors. So, there's been an error-laden game in terms of uh, tactical aspects and skills. But the game is interesting, definitely, because 
this is what keeps the game going. It, uh, the position is uh, turned from side to side and both the teams somehow try to manage and keep the game alive and game is what is being uh, what we are witnessing here at the Candy Sports Club after a while, uh, a very, very tense close affair. Well, we have approached the final 10 minutes of the game. Both teams hanging by a thread. Candy with a five point leader uh, and have locks looking to get a try. But Candy right now with position. Here's the replacement of Fisher and Jansen uh, putting the ball to boot and uh, up and under. And unfortunately, Release have locks collects it. Uh, wasn't the best of moves are from the replacement Nuath. He could have just opted to pass it through to one of his uh, players because they can't afford to lose position because uh, get the back, deficit boys, is just get five back. points. He says uh, Ravin Fernando is uh, on the field uh, replacing uh, Rifan Mohamed. Ravin in the number nine jersey, former Pete Wright as well. A very nippy, a very cheeky player with a little bit of uh, razzle and dazzle into him. He's a very confident man going in the in terms of skill set, he is a very, very exceptional get back, player. Get back. Well, just to remind our viewers the magnitude of a win in this game for both these sides. Both these teams desperately need a win here, especially Candy with four wins in a row. If they win this game, they will go one uh, place ahead in the point table as. Uh, <laughs> Tarin the Ratwata collects the ball, but the referee says. Uh, well, 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 Kevin. Looked as if the hands went backwards uh, to our first uh, glance of view. Uh, let's see how that goes. Well, I mean, the ball went, uh, looked as if it was going forward, but the hands were in the backward motion. So. It's a very uh, interesting call there. Well, I was talking about how important this game is for both the teams, especially Havelocks uh, losing one game and winning three. If they win this, uh, they might just uh, move up plays ahead as well. And uh, we are seeing a replacement from Candy. Uh, Tirina Bandara has been replaced on the... And Wajid Faumi is his uh, replacement, so... Which is eight minutes to go. Candy with a five point lead, a slender leader. Of course, uh, given replacement uh, for Candy was it for me, former Zyrian. And now lots of cries coming in from the Candy side. Of course, that Kevin again looked as if it was forward, definitely, because the hand was going a bit, uh, going in the frontward motion. Uh, let's see what uh, the Havelock lads will set off here uh, here's the replay again uh, a very controversial call uh, from the referee number seven number seven change the crowd but cheering the referee when that ball found the uh, heavy's player but yes uh, what's gone is gone and passed uh, have locks have a line out throw in their hand uh, inside the 22 meter mark here's another opportunity for them Five man. With seven minutes to go in the game, anything could happen from here on. Kevin, that previous offload by Suranga Tenakon, the replacement halfback by Candy, was a beautiful offload to watch. Should have been play on and just uh, was so unlucky out there. And Candy getting that ball and have locked Sports Club. Lucky out here, very, very lucky out here. Candy had that ball in possession. Ooh, looks like the first knock on was uh, from Heavies. Yeah. Here's, uh, here's the replay of that. Uh, yes, it is uh, knock on number from Heavies in that line out through and Kuda Ligi uh, knocking on the now. second time around. So Candy will have a scrum and they have the opportunity to get out of jail. Knowing Candy, they will be looking to get a try. They won't be looking to hold on uh, these five points. Uh, they desperately want to get a try here because they know Havis can pounce back. One Coach. try here could change the complexion of the game. Go. Totally, Muad. Absolutely, Kevin. Havis are actually doing a brilliant job in keeping uh, 
Kendi in their stuck on their own penny too, and lots of pressure coming out there. Young Suranga Tenakon is very Finish well marked. Him. Rush defense there. Can Kendi get out of jail? Tarindra Twatta. Outside the boot kick uh, from him, uh, finding uh, uh, Janit Chandimal. One of the Chandimals. There's Chanaka Chandimal and Janit Chandimal both playing for Havis. It's a skipper brought down by Candy SC. Havis going out wide. Uh, None of these teams can afford to make a mistake from here on. Candy's defense have to be solid and uh, Havelock's attack has to be solid as well. We are approaching the final four minutes of the game. The difference between the two teams is just four points and uh, the referee Kihan Yatavara has called back play. Kevin, as you can see, a vociferous crowd, raucous crowd here. I mean, very, very vocal. Lots of, uh, lots and ahs and oohs coming in from the stands. I hope uh, all goes well with the officiating today because it's a very emotional, very, very emotional crowd backing the Hill Country Club. They have been playing some ex. ex Experienced uh, ploys out here and a very experienced player out there, one of the most experienced lads out here on the number pitch, 17, playing 20. a full game okay. today. Danushka Ranjan wearing the number 24 jersey. Well, we've missed Danushka Ranjan very much in the previous seasons, but he has uh, come out strong uh, this season and he has been playing a full game today. And uh, that's a replacement. Malita Vijay Sundara goes out and uh, here's a clean line out throw oh. from Havis. They set up the mall again. Uh, Kavisha Bandar is in for Malita. Havis looking for the try. The try that could equalize things and a conversion, a clear conversion from there on could win the game for them from here on. A very, very tight finish, Muad. Skipper Fajrin just uh, chocker blocked in that uh, mall out there. Rush. Uh, Heavy defense out here coming on by the Candy Sports Club as Moshin Falil just rushes into the defense of uh, Candy. Ravin Fernando just gifts away the ball. Just like that, that all the hard work given, so much of the hard work put in by the forwards. I'm thinking now the forwards of uh, the Havelock Sports Club team just might, might be wanted to eat up. <laughs> just, uh, Get back, get there, well, get I get understand there. that you are under so much pressure, but decision making get is there. vital in crucial moments like these. With just two minutes to go, with five points down, that wasn't the best of decisions taken uh, from the Havelock player as Srinath Surya Bandara puts the ball out. Uh, it's given. Young Ravin Fernando coming in from the bench. Uh, he has been playing, uh, starting the games as well, so he was just. I don't know why he got under so much pressure. He had lots of men out there to pass out the ball and spread the ball wide. So Havis just probably gifting away the game and gifting away possession very, very cheaply out there. And this game has just a couple of minutes there for the one final whistle. Have locks looking, desperately looking for that try. And we have reached the final minute of the game and uh, almost it looked as if though Havelocks have lost position and uh, they're still with position. Mind you, Kevin, it has been all Havelocks uh, in this last few moments of the game. Well, well, well. What could have been if there was uh, sufficient uh, support coming out there for... Chandimal. Have locks holding on to position. They desperately want a win here. Here's the skipper. Brought down by the candy number seven. 
Wajid Faumi, the replacement, have lock still with possession. Candy wanting to win the ball back. As per our clock, we have reached the full quota of 80 minutes. So this probably should be the final play of the game. Strong run out there by Surya Dunangada with the scrum cap. Young lad. There is no room for error for both these sides. What will be the final result? And uh, the referee, Gihan Yatavara, says that's a forward pass. And Candy, five weeks in a row, five wins in a row, stands tall here at Nittavala at the top of the table. They are the defending champions for a reason, Muad. Kevin, uh, like uh, we see from the body language of the Candy players, they are not the happiest of lads out here today. They know they were tested, they were battered hard. They were battered hard, strong, very, very tough outing. And Kevin, we have decided the man of, man of the match uh, for today's uh, outing. Well, uh, for me, it was uh, absolutely without a doubt Srinath Surya Bandara that try and that kick that uh, led to a try was the game changes for me especially coming in the second half because the deficit was just two points but Srinath Surya Bandara made the difference in the second half uh, I believe you will agree with me Muad Skiven, uh, like you said earlier Srinath uh, Suri, Surya Bandara looking just fresh uh, as out of school uh, as he was uh, more than 15 years ago shows how much of an immensely talented guy and experience coming out for Candy Sports Club and Tanud Ratwath and the whole co played a very pivotal part and of course this is your full time confirmation Candy 27 have locked Sports Club 22 Candy going on with that unbeaten tag here well, Muad, before the game, we were talking about the two kickers uh, from Candy and Havelock's uh, Samuel and uh, Tarinder. And in the end, the three pointers and the two pointers made the difference, Muad. And here's the replay of the second half action. It's given 14 penalties conceded by Candy in the whole game. That's a big point to ponder for them going into the next few games and the next round. Havelock Sports Club, six penalties considered. They have uh, eight penalties considered less than Candy. Candy, 14 penalties will be a big ask when they are going forward. And this is uh, the last try scored by Havelock Sports Club in what could have been a much more close uh, scoreboard out here. A wonderful game. It was a bit of a stop-start affair at times. Lots of errors, but that errors and the stoppages at times kept on the game free-flowing. Candy Sports Club came in yet again, securing that bonus point. They have secured bonus points in all their five games. And now they go on top of the points table yet again. It's just one point deciding and dividing Candy Sports Club and CRNFC which probably will be the game-changing title deciding, uh, in fact, the round one deciding game between Candy and Sia. So, it's an unbeaten tag continuing for Candy. Well, here's the fixtures uh, for our next week's uh, matchups, uh, starting with Air Force SC taking on Army SC at Rathmalan and Navy SC taking on Candy SC at Valley Sura. Candy will be travelling away from home and CR and FC taking on Havelock SC. That's the match of the week. Next week, uh, it'll be coming live from the Longland Plays. And uh, finally, CH and FC taking on Police SC. So here's uh, the CR and FC Havelock SC. It's a match to look up for. Absolutely. It is also played for a, a trophy encounter. So that's a uh, much look forward to game. And uh, definitely many more interesting affairs out here. CH Police will also be one of the most look forward to games. Uh, definitely Candy Navy. Can Navy is a battered hard team with lots of fresh legs and lots of experienced players going out to other clubs. Army's, Army Air Force will also be interesting because Army and Air Force both need to win to continue in further. So lots and lots of uh, exciting games coming up uh, in the next round of the game. And like you said earlier, 
can dispose of the undisputed defending champions running in a row putting on a good show in front of their home fans they know they were tested hard kevin the players did not celebrate uh, uh, as usual after the match they know they were battered hard have locks gave a good good fight probably one of the best fights given to uh, candy sports club in a full 80 minute game so that will be it uh, from the papare tv with the live telecast of this blockbuster of a game from nitavara that you brought to you that we brought to you and uh, candy sc coming out as the winners so with that we will be ending our live telecast for today and we will be back again next week with more and more interesting games especially that CR and FC and versus Havelock SC game from London Place so good evening good night and have a good week from all of us here at the papre production technical and all of us here at the papre.com it's Mohad Razik and Kevin Tananjan signing off hope to see you soon take care Rugby League, first December onwards. Live on the Papare TV, Dialog TV channel 126, Dialog View app, and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Protect your home from harmful bacteria. Nippon Paint Medifresh, a powerful combination of silver and zinc ions. Nippon Paint, the coatings expert. on us. The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need.
biggest bash of T20 cricket is here. KFC Big Bash League 2023. Club Rugby is back on the Pabere. Eight contenders, one champion. Nippon Paint Rugby League, 1st December onwards. Live on the Papare TV, Dialogue TV channel 126, Dialogue View app and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z Z. We KYC. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. <laughs> Introducing Neos Pay, a fun way to make payments from your Neos app. For the fun of paying, hashtag Neos Paid. Z? Z? We KYC. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us. Hot and spicy fun by Bikati Barakaranda. We take a remake. Karanda Tavinda. Hot and spicy fun by Bikati Barakaranda. We take a remake. Catch me howling at the moon 